Did you see that little kid, that Pentecostal kid recently? They had a kid who was doing, speaking in tongues. Oh, he was wow. a young preacher. Now, did you, growing up, did you go to church? We would sometimes. My dad would take us over there. I mean, my dad was so old when I was young, when I was a child, and so he would walk over there to church, and he'd fall asleep. He'd fall asleep wherever we were. Yeah. And so when I got there, I was kind of on my own wherever we went. You know, my dad was like, I'll introduce you to people. We'd go. We'd sit down for a second till he could take a break, and then he'd be fucking dead asleep. So then I would just be kind of like in these places, and I had this sleeping father that felt uncomfortable. And then I was there and had to kind of like navigate some situations. That kind of stuff would happen a lot with my dad. And how, what kind of church was it? Was Pre it Presbyterian. Presbyterian. Yeah. They had three nice oak trees, I remember. And uh, they tried to do an insurance fire once or twice, but it didn't take. And, and um, great breakfast over there, though. Right. God. Nothing will bring you home, you know, nothing will bring you to the Lord like a dang... One of those donuts with pink frosting and well, fried Well, I just egg. think of like different churches. Like you remember, like we went to this church uh, in Maryland that uh, just amazing. You go and get pizza and oh. donuts. And, you know, you're like, you know, you're usually a little hungover on Sunday. <laughs> and you're like, this is sweet. <laughs> You don't have a little kick from that lemonade. You're like, this is perfect. Yeah, God knows what I need. But <laughs> yeah, church was fun. I thought the funnest thing about church was just kids playing and stuff like like a social environment. Yeah. You know? And it used to be that was the place you saw anybody. They didn't have all this other stuff. You had to, you know, fight off yellow fever all week and dysentery and get everybody's butts clean and everything and then yeah. wagging them up to church. And that's where you'd see somebody and hope somebody would, with a little bit of money, would make love to your daughter or, you know, or, <laughs> you know, it, that's where, you know, that's where it happened. It yeah. all happened right there on the, yeah. you know. And, you know, it's like, it's, you know, there is something strange about because also I spent my twenties and you know my thirties very much opposed to it, and then I married this woman that that uh, is Catholic, and I mean I was raised Catholic, but kind of just kind of culturally, and but there is something about there's a, a quietness there that you know there's something meditative about it and maybe because it's so boring <laughs> but yeah. it was it's there is something about like oh and i'm just standing there with my kids i'm just sitting there with my kids it's it's like the world slows down like i you know you see why people go and why they have a connection to it yeah, I love, I mean, I love faith. You know, I have, a, I feel like I have a good faith. You know, I like being able to close my eyes and, and I like to pray twice a day. I like to be able to think about God and, and, and talk and or my God and ask him, you know, what I can do for others and just things like that. Or if I need help to offer me some suggestion, um, I love that kind of stuff. I mean, yeah. one of the best times I've ever had in my life or best I ever felt was when I felt like I had a really strong connection to a higher power. Yeah. And I'd worked on it a lot and it, and it really came to fruition. And even if some people say, well, that's voodoo, whatever it is, doesn't matter. It worked. It like, I, it worked as much as it, as it, it was real as far as I knew. And if that's, if that's the truth to me, then that's great. Well, it's also, you talk about, uh, you, you had mentioned before ego, right? Like that humility or just a concept of humility is so necessary, right, to navigate this. Because if you let the ego take over, mm. it's trouble. You uh, know what I mean? And I know I'll that. Be, yeah, I I'll, know that so, to some people listening, that we just sound like we're saying gobbledygook. But like, it is one of those. Like when you, you know, you're somebody that if, if you, you know, like I've struggled with my ego and stuff like that. It's like it's the only way you can get that in line is having some humility and like, and the premise of religion that or belief system that there is a higher power is is very kind of. It's like that structurally, you know literally puts you in a position of of humbleness you right. know what i mean because you're, you're so, working with alongside somebody else or for somebody else yeah yeah 
oh, I'm so grateful that there's something else out there that I can believe. Because, yeah, I think I like rejected the world so much that I was in growing up that I wasn't going to take direction from anybody in it, probably. You know, I hated my environment so much. I despised, like, I mean, I despised my fucking environment, you know? It just, I mean, it, everything about it fucking hurt me. I felt like, right? That's yeah. how I felt anyway. Yeah. And so the no one in the world of human probably would I ever really believe in, right? So you almost need this other, this, this uh, satellite to beam through this other entity to help me get adjusted to trust the yeah. world again. And so that's why I'm, man, because for me, I, and everybody can have their own thoughts. I don't, but for me, as I'm just- As long as they're the same as mine. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm fine with it. But for right? me, man, I'm so, because I wouldn't have believed you to said, hey, listen to this guy. I don't know if I would have done that, but you give me a, 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 a hype of an invisible being, right? Yeah. Visually invisible, you know? And it's just, and there's just enough malleability in there for me to say, okay, I'm will I'm willing to try this, and then it opens up more of a door for me of like um, of connection. Does that make any sense? Yes, I think okay. also like even saying, I, I I think you know the whole agnostic. I don't know is that's that's yeah, just least, where you got to be. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like it's like I don't you know I think that human beings are so arrogant and the assumption that like every generation has thought that they've had it figured out and every generation has been wrong. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like even, you know, so it's like if we can't be like, we don't know, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> then we're really kind of starting from a bad position. Hope you enjoyed that video and you can watch another and you can watch this one, you can watch this one. Different options, different choices. Some guy just brings you one option, not this guy. Two options. Watch one. This one or this one. <laughs>